going? I'm all right. How are you guys doing? Doing okay. good, doing good. Thanks, thanks for your time. Thanks for accommodating. I know it was a little bit back and forth, but here uh, we are. Oh, you know what? I'm glad to have this opportunity. What are your right, expectations guys? for the Dance with Films Festival? Like, how do you guys perceive your audience's reaction on the film as a director and writer? The story is about an immigrant. Okay. And it's a very universal story of uh, what does it mean to be an immigrant uh, and then on top of that, to be an artist. Is he recognized as an immigrant or is he seen as an artist or is it kind of both? He's both. He's definitely both. He's immigrant uh, and he's an artist. So he came to to the United States, to Los Angeles, specifically he landed in Hollywood uh, to, you know, pursue a career in, in art, in music. It's very universal and we hope that uh, a lot of people, no matter what nationalities, can... can uh, resonate yeah. with our story. My recognition was really influenced by the artwork. How did you guys go about selecting the artwork for the film? First of all, we wanted the to show... The journey of a person where time is kind of melting. Okay. The time is bending. The time is rhythmically, uh, like, syncopated. Because he's always unsure about his future, and he lives within the... Uh, this unknown territory of what's going to happen to him mm. in the next hour, next day, a month. So we really wanted to show uh, this trailer of, of kind of time that bends with him and uh, very bright because we're talking about Los Angeles. But then when you watch the film, you understand that it is the story about a person who doesn't see the sunlight of L.A. Because he's so introspective, so then his anxieties of what's going to happen to him. Yeah. Um, so he doesn't see the sunlight. You said the syncopation and the time and the overlap of him constantly, you know, moving and being, you know, in this free form that there's something occurring. Definitely was really blown away at all the attention that's, you know, created in his present. What role does storytelling play in the moment we are in right now? If you know, there is a war happening right now between Russia and Ukraine. And, uh, and pandemic, on top of that, uh, brought a lot of immigrants from that region who was trying to escape war. It's a very polarized concept as eclipsing what he experienced. The similarities of what people might kind of experience, maybe being part of the world or attribute similar uh, realities. Is he Russian or is he Japanese, Russian, Russian of mixed heritage, right? Half yeah. Russian, half Korean, magician from Kazakhstan. Okay. You know, I just started luring that this is where he was from. now being in Hollywood. I'm wondering is, what type of affiliation with art does he have that kind of create influence as an artist from the director's point of view? What was it about Hollywood that designated the best, you know, description to tell the story? Outside of Los Angeles, Hollywood is perceived as you know, a place where people live and glamorous life is happening, partying all the time. But when you actually arrive in Hollywood, it's, it's you know, quite the opposite. Everything is happening, but not for the most people who are trying to, to get there where they're trying to get. And very uh, far away from what the rest, what the 99.9% .9 of the world think of Hollywood. So for me, you have explore the circumstances. You, I mean, it's probably you've been on Hollywood Boulevard many, many times, and you see all the baskers, and you see all the performers, and people who are hustling. But you never actually think about their story, their circumstances. So I really wanted to tell the first story ever about an immigrant and artist from our region trying to survive here in Hollywood. Hollywood is so glorified with being presumably the entertainment capital of the world, like uh, what I've seen so far about the film. How did you guys go about selecting the title of the film? When we created this story, we knew exactly that uh, it is going to be a story about the hope, about the hope every person carries. Reading the title and then watching the trailer, I went back and I said, well, it's this guy, it says, off Hollywood, you know, the undocumented journey of hope. And instantly, I just see some rotation about how hope is kind of imploring this overall you know, credibility about an immigrant that's coming from, you know, this specific region of the world that are getting a better perspective. There seems to be other aspects that I'm kind of looking for as far as what interactions kind of complete his journey 
while there's something likable about Hollywood. Like, how does that intertwine itself in the film? Ironically, this this place, Hollywood and West Hollywood, happened to be kind of the epicenter of uh, migration for people from the Soviet Union and post starting from the 70s and 80s and then after the collapse of the Soviet Union people uh, and then to, to this day still like over 50 years people Russia Kazakhstan Ukraine Belarus Armenia speaking community is a big big part of, of Hollywood neighborhood you know geographically but uh, you know to be the place where people come to uh, to make their dreams come true that's kind of what our main character is, is going through, you know, he came to this place uh, with hopes and dreams, and now he's in the situation where he has to, you know, provide for his family, he's waiting for his wife to come back, she, she's stuck abroad, but uh, it's just him and his two-year-old daughter. It's a day-to-day -day kind of stuff, you know, like, sometimes when we think about artists, we, or when we think about stories about artists, we see their art how they you know pursue their dreams but the flip side of that is like what it actually takes how many artists can actually make a living on their art it's not the case for the most artists and it's definitely not the case for the main character Misha the majority part of the film he's we show it we show him hustling from one cash paying job to the other and trying to you know make ends meet to pay rent for the next month and that's kind of, kind of the reality of artists here in Hollywood and really artists Pretty much anywhere I wanted to create a story that would speak to the audience just close to zero stories like that um, and then what does that feel like what stage are you guys at as far there wasn't nothing missed out from uh, you know having your audience consume so much of the directors and the writers and the producers you know, intentions we really wanted to be part of this festival because it's uh, in the Chinese theaters which is on Hollywood Boulevard and our film was entirely shot on Hollywood Boulevard. We made this film about our neighborhood. We shot it in our neighborhood we live in, and now we get to show it uh, in the Chinese area. So it, it, it's, it's an amazing feeling. It's our like, intention with, with this film, or actually rather right now, we're you know, uh, preparing for dances with films, uh, hoping for the, for the best outcome. Obviously, any artists want to see their work to be, you know, kind of broadcast to uh, to a larger audience. So we're looking to uh, make a deal, a distribution deal, hopefully with one of the streaming platforms. So the ultimate goal is to maybe hopefully land a distribution deal with a major yeah. uh, motion picture company. Or rather a, a streaming service. Okay, streaming yeah, service. All Hollywood is a story of a larger story that totally resonates no matter where people are from, if the story is is compelling, if it's universal, it, it will talk to a you know larger audience. I love acting. I love uh, telling stories and being part of something that can uh, you know change people and uh, change people's minds and opinions and uh, influence and uh, being part of uh, stories that can do that is kind of it's definitely a gift. We really hope to see you at the screening. It's going to be in one week uh, next Monday at two thirty. We're super excited. We're super pumped at the, about the you know our screening, about our uh, block of shorts, and uh, about the, the festival in general. We're looking to create more friends and then uh, hope, hopefully make uh, some good connections so we can continue what we love uh, doing. And uh, yeah, man, thanks. Hey,